When defining sustainability, environmental engineers are quick to reference various United Nations reports, but they rarely mention father-son relationships. But maybe they should. Researchers in the humanities point out the inherent value of intergenerational connectedness when describing the traits of successful families and prosperous societies. This is the story of a young engineer, his father, and a desire to contribute to a more sustainable world. Jeremy was born on June 1, 1985 in Iowa City, Iowa to Mary and Gordon K. Brill. But even before birth, the words of his mother's sweater indicate that he was bound to be a future Iowa Hawkeye. And it didn't take long for Gordon to eye Jeremy as a future engineer. Gordon received his PhD in statistics from the University of Iowa in 1984 before his appointment as a statistics professor and modeling researcher at Luther College in Decorah, Iowa, where he served for 17 years. Jeremy's appreciation for our lakes and rivers was instilled in him by his father. My dad absolutely loved the outdoors. Um, I remember dozens and dozens of fishing trips um, that he took my brother and my sister and I on when we were kids. Our family vacations to the northern lakes of Wisconsin always involved canoeing, hiking, biking, camping, some sort of outdoor activity. He was also an avid uh, marathon runner, which I must say is one of the few interests in the outdoors that he uh, did not pass on to me. Luther College students shared how likable Gordon was and how he used his life experiences to make the subject of statistics fun and meaningful. I remember one student saying that he had them calculating the average price of a hot dog in major league ballparks across the country. Um, I thought this was a pretty clear reflection on his interest in baseball and uh, taking us to several Milwaukee Brewers games uh, when we were kids. So he, he helped make uh, our homework, especially math, uh, much more tolerable and I don't know if I dare to say it, but almost fun sometimes. But the exuberant life that Gordon lived could not compete with the ravages of testicular cancer. He lost his hair and he eventually lost the battle too. Gordon died on July 17, 2002. Yeah, the loss of my father was certainly devastating. I think anyone that has lost a loved one can attest to that. He was so involved in, in our lives. He was coaching every sport that my brother and sister and I were involved with. He was involved in every other activity. You know, throughout, throughout his illness, the thing that, that really got to him the most is that he couldn't be there for us the way that he wanted to be. Stepping forward almost eight years, Jeremy finds himself doing research on Mississippi River nitrogen dynamics, outdoors where Gordon would want him to work. My research is focused on developing a better understanding for how the Mississippi River is able to naturally process nitrogen. With the management of the nitrogen cycle labeled as one of 14 grand challenges for engineering, we are studying how aquatic environments such as the Mississippi uh, may be affected by increasing human and climate-induced changes. By using freshwater mussels as a sentinel species, we are hopeful that our work may be able to contribute to more sustainable techniques for managing the anthropogenic dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico. Research has shown that under normal environmental conditions, mussels are actually able to process nitrogen more readily than denitrifying bacteria. So by capturing uh, the disruption in the muscle's normal diurnal cycle and incorporating that disruption into a dynamic mass balance model, we are working to determine how different events may alter the muscle's ability to process nitrogen and thus alter the overall nitrogen processing of the ecosystem. Mathematical modeling has actually been in my blood long before I realized it. Uh, I recently found out that my dad often used mathematical models and even published research using models to predict the paths of hurricanes. Um, so I found this very interesting, and uh, although we've taken different routes, uh, he through statistics and math, me through more of the engineering and sciences, we've uh, essentially converged on the same path in terms of uh, a career here. And so I guess looking back, it's not all that surprising um, as we are both pursuing an area of study that uh, is centered around one of our most significant passions, um, those great outdoors. Just like his father, Jeremy is using math to predict natural responses. The intergenerational linkage, so important to sustainability, remains indelible, just like the ink on Jeremy's back that carries his father's initials. This is the story of sustainability, engineering, and nitrogen. <laughs>